Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got some uh, 2K23 gameplay to review. Some more interesting 2K23 news. So y'all are going to want to watch this full video, man, because I'm finna break down why you niggas really don't want a realistic 2K after I show you the new 2K23 news and gameplay, man. But before we get into that, man, if y'all want any VC for uh, 2K23, make sure you comment down below with your Twitter and 2K23, and then make sure you like and subscribe and turn on them post notices, my boy. Mike Wang tweets out, adrenaline boost are on both gens, man. So that means it is on current gen. Um, again, we have the same builder. We got this. It's like, come on. All they got have the difference is environment. You might as well just make one game and unite the community to just make everyone overall more happy. But these niggas is so money hungry, dog. It's 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 bad, man. Y'all y'all let me know how y'all feel about uh, the adrenaline boost being on current gen. Again, I don't really understand why after seeing this, like why certain creators will play current. Like I could understand last year, like if you didn't like the gameplay and for views and all that. But now, like the gameplay is gonna be even more similar, and the builders the same. So I think we're gonna see a lot more creators on next gen next year. More people got that con and maybe more people will watch next gen because everything's like more the same i don't know y'all let me know how y'all feel about it man now young germ tweeted this out bro i don't know how this nigga gets shit <laughs> i'm starting to think this nigga dead but look bro so as you can see clay thompson great defender by the way for you niggas that don't know he's six six great defender high iq verse ayton in the paint and he stops him this bot is trying to force a layup on him now we're gonna read the comments niggas are bitching over this bro i'm trying to tell you i don't give a fuck nigga this is how paint defense should be okay i don't care what your badges are the height difference and all that this is a great defender elite defender this should be a stop eight out of ten times bro it should be really high. It should not be make, 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 make. Oh, uh, you know, all that. Yam, yam, yam. No, no, bro. No skill. You can't get open. Punish the bots, boy. Punish the bots. Then he's saying the same soft ass layup attempt that should never happen. Uh, it, it could be because of the player. Y'all got to chill. He blocked him on the up. That's realistic, Muggsy, that versus Patrick. What? What is this nigga talking about? Why is he bringing up Muggsy? This nigga saying seven footers shouldn't get blocked. Bro, I guarantee you if that matchup happened in real life, bro, Clay is getting a ton of stops, bro. Like a lot. 2K definitely needs to remove slow layups and slow dunks. But then if they do that, you know what that's going to happen? Niggas ain't gonna need quick drops off one, so now niggas gonna be able to finish fast. So it's gonna be like, y'all niggas is in trouble, you know? Cause y'all get beat, niggas don't need quick drops, so it's like, you know? Be careful what you ask for. But I, I definitely want layups to be extremely faster. Same with uh dunks, I completely kill my man. They catch up and block me, bro. That shit is so lame. So this guy says 2K needs to fix those dumbass blocks people be getting for jumping at the wrong time. Oh my God, on on God, they need to. And they need to take out the fucking jumping, deflecting a pass, bro. I have two people jump at me thinking I'm gonna take a layup or a dunk. I pass out and it hits one of them. Or I'm at the three. I pass, he jumps because he thinks I'm a shoot and he deflects the ball and they get the ball. That shit is lame. But right here, uh, this whole thing, I don't think that that was one of those those jumps, man. Yeah, as you can see, bro, almost nobody likes this shit, bro. It's crazy. I'm sure this is going to go viral soon. I don't know. I like it, bro. We need a paint defense buff. Niggas is tripping. But hey, man, y'all follow me on Twitter, man. You know, I'll be dropping real knowledge and gems and, you know, trying to move the game in a great direction. So I, I tweet out, man, y'all don't want a realistic 2K. 
IRL, 38% wide open threes drop, 30% on contested threes drop for you highlight watchers. Then I say people would not make more contested shots if it was more realistic. Everything would go down dramatically. Highlight watchers. Okay, I've been hearing for years. Miss realistic, 2K18 realistic. 19 realistic contested shootings realistic in real life they make contested shots in real life they do this they do that every shot's contested blah 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 do you see these shooting percentages please look 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 at this bro if niggas shot like real life everybody's shit is going down dramatically that's what's realistic people make more threes wide open then people make contested shots. For some reason, y'all highlight watching niggas. Y'all think niggas is just dropping all these contested shots just eight out of 10 times and shit. Like it is on 2K, no bro. 30% nigga, 38%. And then their shit gets higher because they take layups and dunks and you know, middies and shit like that. You have even, you have a higher percent for your middies and again, you shoot the midi wide open, you make a higher percent, then you're contested. So you shoot between probably 43 to 45 on open midis, and then you shoot probably 35 to 37 on contested midis. They implement that in the game, you niggas are done. You niggas will not like this shit. So niggas be hiding behind these words. Let, let, let me just read what I said. I said, let's start being a bit more honest to why we want specific changes instead of hiding behind more sim arcade and realistic realistic 2k is superstar 2k ran by wings and shooting guards where builds can do everything but y'all want role-playing 2k which is unrealistic i think a lot of people they just want a slower game they want a very easy shooting 2k to make up for their skill level to what they can't control let's be honest let's stop trying let's 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 stop hiding under the words sim arcade realistic it, it seemed like uh, people when they say like arcade and stuff like people are like they like they just become uncredible and and all this different type of shit it's just you know, I want a more realistic game, but I know what actual realistic is. It seemed like the less skilled people, probably a lot of y'all listening to this right now, y'all are saying y'all y'all think slow and easy to shoot and contested shots and contested dunks and all this no skill shit is just realistic when it's not. It's not. What's realistic? Nothing drops. Basketball is a brick fest, nigga. So what we need is balance, competitive balance. There needs to be a mixture. I quoted the perfect tweet. This nigga said, that's like saying you want every war shooter to play like a sim, where you die in one shot, can't get healed, have limited ammo, and you only get one life. We play video games to escape reality, not live in a carbon copy of it. On God. On God. And I'm not even a heavy arcade component, nigga. Like, I want shit to be realistic, but still, you know, not OD. But it, it, it gotta be a mix, bro. And it has to be a competitive thing. Like, most shooters, bro, to me, the fun shooters for me is when... You take a lot of bullets because then you can get into gun fights. If someone, if you play a video game to where you die instantly and anyone can kill you, if they see you first, they start camping and zoning and all this different type of dumb shit. But if you have life, you can jump around and then get hit, turn, and then you're in a gunfight, right? Those are the games I like. You know, but um, that's just me personally. And things just have to be balanced in video games, bro. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that shit, boy.
Now, I also tweeted this out in the AM, and it got a ton of likes, bro, okay? I don't have noties on and none of my stuff, so this is a very popular thing that people want. So y'all go support this tweet, man. Comment under Baluba's tweet earlier today. I did not post this when he first tweeted this. You know, he probably had like 8,600 likes when uh, I tweeted this or something. And um, I said, make it to where we can dance in people's face at the end of the game. Nobody even buys outros anymore. It was used to make people spin. Makes the game more fun. I don't know if y'all play the older 2Ks, but after you beat them, you could run in their face while they're walking and start doing dances, grab their heart, they face, start jigging in their fucking face and shit. You know, it, it creates a more competitive, you know, spirit. Y'all by me, oh, oh, no sportsmanship, man. It's a video game, nigga. Who the fuck cares? It's like teabagging niggas and shit. But it's funny. It makes people spend more. People will get more games. It'll create more feuds or whatever. It's just more enticing. People might get more, some messages and stuff. And just makes the game just better overall. Uh, they took it out and it's just, it's dumb. It, it, There's no reason to take it out. I, I don't know what 2K be doing. But um, y'all tweet at these niggas, ask for this type of shit, all that. Make sure y'all like the video, man. Go check out my other 2K23 news. And turn on them damn post notices, man. Get all your uh, 2K23 news here. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome.